Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Willie V, aka Bull Boy Kennels. Uh, this video is just in regards to four books that I believe every dog man should have. And what I mean by dog man is people that are pit bull owners, either uh, currently in the dog game or out of the dog game. Either or, it really doesn't matter. But if you're your dog man, these are books that you should definitely have in your collection, and they made for great reading great stories and they're just wonderful books to have. Uh, the first book is probably one that most people are going to be very uh, well aware of. It's something that's more of a uh, mass market type of book and it's by Richard F. Stratton and that book is The Book of the American Pit Bull Terrier. Now, this is a pretty thick book, even though it's, it's kind of small in size, but the book itself is pretty thick. And it's a very good book, has a lot of great stories of uh, certain types of dogs that were in the history of the pit bulls. So this is definitely a great book to get uh, if you want to learn or just get a quick insight of the pit bull terrier itself. Now, the second book... And I'm not sure how many of these were printed, but I know it's not a mass market type of book. And that one is by T.L. Williams. Now this is definitely one you want in your collection. It's called Braveheart. And it is a great, great book. And has beautiful um, portraits of many of the great dogs in the uh, pit bull community. Now I know when you purchased this book and I ended up getting mine in 1999. Let me try to open it up without messing up the book here. But um, these were all autographed as you can probably see. They were autographed on here. Portraits of the American Legends. Again, that is by T.L. Williams. And the book is Braveheart. So this is a must-have for any pit bull owner. The second book, uh, again, I don't remember if these were mass-produced or not, but it is a good book to have. A lot of great information. It's actually a pretty thick book, whereas with Braveheart, and I forgot to show, that book is actually kind of thin. It's a pretty small book, but it, it is a great book. But the next one is actually by Ed and Chris Farron. It is a guide to breeding and raising the American pit bull. And the name of the book is The Complete Game Dog. This is another wonderful book to have in your pit bull collection for any dog man. Now, this is a pretty thick book. There's a lot of information in here, a lot of good pictures, and uh, some very well-kept uh, secrets as far as certain information is concerned, which I won't spoil it because um, you do need to uh, purchase that to find out. Now, this book itself, uh, it was back in 98 when I had ordered it from uh, Ed Farron of Wildside Kennels. And again, uh, certain books uh, were autographed as well. This is not my handwriting. These are all these uh, books that are autographed are autographed by the uh, writers of these books. Again, it is the Complete Game Dog, a guide to breeding and raising the American Pit Bull Terrier, and that is by Ed and Chris Farron of Wildside Kennels. Anybody in the dog game knows who Wildside Kennels is. If you don't know who they are, and then uh, <laughs> you're just not in the dog game. Now the final book, which is probably my favorite one of all, and it's more because I'm biased because of the dogs themselves, is The Life and Times with the American Pit Bull Terror. Now this book is by James Ed Crenshaw. You see the dog right there, the very first one in the middle? Yes, 
I love that dog. That is Champion Rascal, for those that don't know. And that is uh, James Ed Crenshaw. He is the owner, breeder, and also writer of this book. Wonderful book to have. It's not a very big book. That's maybe half an inch thick. But again, this is a wonderful book to have if you are a uh, pit bull enthusiast, a dog man, or, or, or anything of that nature. It has a, um, great stories in here about certain types of dogs. Another thing about this book, and these were all these were all autographed as well. Um, there were actually a limited edition made, only 3,000 of these um, copies were actually done. And as you can see, I have 1,838. And I ordered this when it first came out. So that'll tell you um, how quickly they were gone because I have friends that actually have lower numbers, higher numbers, and we all ordered them at the same time. And they all were autographed by Mr. Crenshaw himself. Um, don't know if these are still available as far as maybe like eBay or something like that. You may find people that have them available. If you don't, then um, I suggest you just keep searching. Most people that do have these books and have bought them are true dogmen and are just not going to give up their copies. Like me, myself, I'm no longer in the dog game, but I will not get rid of any of my dog books at all. So again, the first book, well, this final book, The Life and Times with the American Pitbull Terriers by James A. Crenshaw. Great book to have. And just to recap, The Complete Game Dog by Ed and Chris Farron. Another must-have book. Braveheart. By T.L. Williams, a must-have book for any pit bull owner. And if you're just a casual reader or just want to learn some quick information, then the Book of the American Pit Bull Terror by Richard F. Stratton. All four books are great books to have, but the other three are must-haves in your book collections when it comes to the real, the true, the one and only American Pit Bull Terrier. Until then, keep them scratching, fellas.